I'm here because I'm checking on my friend because they made him sleep outside last night. I have been refused a couple times. They tell me and refuse me. My warmth is what I'm worried about. Being able to stay warm and not freeze. Yes, that's what I'm worried about. So two people just passed on here in Flagstaff and the shelter and the city of Flagstaff is saying that they don't turn people away or they don't ban people. Is that true? No, that, that is not true. They chase out, they ban people. They have banned people. People have said that they have a set camp or they had to make camp out here on the outside of the shelter, which isn't correct. And over the years, I've heard reports of people even being kicked out <clears throat> on cold nights yeah. while, while they were actually at the shelter. Yeah. Uh, depending, even though, you know, a shelter is, you take in anybody, in any condition, to be able to help them and keep them warm and have them at a safe place to stay. Yes, I have seen people get kicked out. It's not fair that this shelter is right here and then by the time you make it, you can get refused. That's not fair. Last night I went over, went over there and um, I guess because I, I told one of the workers to open the gate. He said, you don't tell me to open the gate. You wait until I say until I say I'm coming. Then I was like, man, open the gate, like joking around with him. You're on 12 o'clock checking. So I had to wait outside in the cold till 12 o'clock, just for simple stuff like that. 12, 12 at night? Yeah have to wake up at 5 30 in the morning like, and then they just they don't respect people over there like they shoo you out like they won't if you ask them for anything for clothes oh no you have to wait i know people that showed up and have been wearing the same clothes for two weeks oh can i get a jacket no you have to wait till tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning like, why all those clothes are right yeah and then look when they get donations all, all the workers, they go through the stuff first and take all the stuff for themselves and won't let it. And they give us the crumbs. Stuff like that. They don't respect people there. They're like, I mean, like old elderly people, 60, 70 years old, making them sleep outside in the cold with no blanket or nothing. They're turning down certain people and treating us like, I don't know, just, um, it's supposed to be a homeless uh, shelter, but they're, they're turning down people, you know, some certain people, you know. And so what, it, what, what exactly have you seen? Like, what do you mean by certain no, people? No, I'm talking about how, how they treat me, you know what I mean? You know, there's a few of us that wouldn't let us in, you know, until like, what, 10, mid, or until like midnight, let us in. They chase us out again at 5 in the... Five in the morning again. You know, that's, that's what's going on. Some people are banned from there too. Yeah, I got some bros that are being banned. Yeah, that's how they treat us though. It's, that's not cool, man. You know, it's not fucking cool. Man. That's why I wouldn't say it's a. It's not a shelter. <laughs> like this morning, I fucking fucking freezing and shivering and but i made it though i made it through today man yeah i'm just nervous to go back to the shelters and have them tell me that i'm banned from there or i can't use their services anymore when there's nowhere else to go well it would be helpful if they can help us with the housing us uh, the one the window on the streets you know sometimes we can't make it back to the shelter
Some people, they sleep outside the shelter. Some of them, they're not really, some of them, they're not really allowing a lot of people in. And then uh, with the shelter, our clothes are being missing too. I don't know what they're doing with it, getting rid of it. They, uh, these two guys, they got, they got into an argument. I was right there, I was just standing right there, and uh, the, what's his name, I uh, walked out, and they think I was involved in the fighting. I, I, I told them, I said, I'm my old man, I can't fight. I said, I, said, I, I, I can't. Yeah, that's... That's about it, you know, these two guys, they got, they think I was involved. One guy, he's a younger, youngster, and he was uh, threatening uh, one of the workers. And they, they think I was, I was threatening them too, which I wasn't. And, uh, you know. And, and they, so they banned you from the shelters that we used to told you? Yeah. So where did where did you where are you sleeping now? Just right across the uh, street, over at the shelter. Outside of the shelter. Yeah. So. Well, I just came back from uh, reservation, you know. But you know, they, they won't let me in. So I just I just slept outside, you know. I got tested Friday, you know, I went back down to the shelter and I told, asked the guy if I got, can get a room. He said, well, you have to wait till your test results come back. So I explained to him, I said, well, if I'm waiting from the time I got tested until the time a room comes up, then would I still be exposed and then I would have to take another test? And he didn't say anything. He just kind of like melted off to me and then turned around and I just turned around and walked off. And then, so I've been staying at the Flagstaff shelter down here on Huntington, and uh, I just uh, don't really know what to do. I'm trying to find food, and I've really found food today through these guys, and I just uh, wanted to try to get out, get out of the uh, area where it's exposed, and try to get a room and quarantine for the 14 days or whatever the protocol is. Or, stuff like that but so <clears throat> and I see people down there and they're mainly natives that are down there, Navajo people and everybody else is probably all white people that are motelled up somewhere, I don't know. And I'm the one that's waiting and waiting and I've been I've been staying at the shelter ever since 2014, 15. The staff, you know, they're kinda of rude. Try talking to them, they just brush you off, and then some of them are just like, I don't know, I'll forget this guy, you know. Or for no reason, you know, they'll chase you out, and tell you you have a one night. I experienced those a couple times, you know, and I wasn't even the cause of it. You know, someone else was, and I just got the blame of, oh, you gotta go, let's go. I said, well, for what? I didn't do anything. So some of the staff, they're kind of rude. And you know, unprofessional sometimes, and that's like, that's not the height. That's unprofessional, man. You don't do that to people. Especially, especially the native people, you know, because a lot of native people stay there at that shelter. And there's maybe a few white people and a few black people, but mainly natives, because when I've been staying there, I see a lot of natives that stay there, especially la ladies, you know, that have nowhere to go. And they, uh, they bring them in, but, you know, they kind of treat you, they kind of treat you, you know, not fairly, it's unfairly the way we get treated sometimes. Even the police officers here are rude. The people here in Flagstaff are really, really, you know, rude. I think they're prejudiced, I don't know, prejudiced town or something. The police, I know the police are, because I had a couple run-ins with the police when I was trying to go to work. Just for going to work, they asked me why I was walking through the parking lot at Target one time. I was going to work and I had my uniform on. Oh, the police, the police like to give people a hard time, especially the native people. So I got to say.
They're letting all those white people camp yeah. out right there on they Huntington. The white people do it, but not us. Not, not us. They're harassing us, and they, we we got arrested just for sitting on the sidewalk. Yeah, we had one she camp. She got bruised up. And then they threw me all through the, the car, driving all fast. They didn't buckle me in. And then just want they sick. knew I was sick. And they didn't even check on me all night. They slammed me all over the car, driving all fast, braking all fast. And there's three other camps down where we had ours at. They don't check all that. They don't care. Yeah, don't shit. We don't. We don't get violent. We don't talk. We don't talk shit to don't nobody. We try to mind our own business, but we can't go nowhere now. We don't know where to stay. The cops don't let us. Just the shelter. They're rude to us. Like dogs. So if you could say anything to the politicians of the city, what would you tell them? <laughs> if we could just stay on like the park, like Fox Glen Park, or maybe at the baseball park right here. I would know, say build we'll another build. shelter because there's us. a lot of us out there. And I thought that was our shelter. I was supposed to be a Native American But they treat shelter. us like crap. They let like all the so white people everything. stay there. You and your and they treat home. the natives like crap. And there's nobody at the shelter now. There's only like five people there. Yeah. there. Only five natives now. All white people. So what do you all need right now? What's the most important just, thing just you need? Somewhere safe to stay so the cops don't harass us. They need somewhere to stay, you know? We're, we try to camp up in the mountains. We try to camp we up can't in the do forest. Anything. The cops are going to come yeah, and man. they're going to give us citations and take us to jail. You know, they don't... They don't give out citations, they just take us to jail for every little thing we do, you know, and we're not trying to harm nobody, we're not trying to bother nobody. Everything's trespassing. We just want to do our thing and just, you know, sleep at night, you know. Just but, sleep, find a safe place to sleep where we don't have to breathe everybody else's viruses. I'm sick right now, but I don't... White man she, she tested negative. Yeah. I just have um, laryngitis. Um, they arrest us for a stupid little crap. Yeah. We're not doing nothing. We're just trying to live. To we're, just, we're not trying to fight nobody. We're, we're native. We live nobody. off the land. That's what we, we do. We don't steal. We camp out. That's what we do. We live off the land. We just uh, whatever Flagstaff can do for us, you know, would be would be a lot of helpful. You know, stop harassing us or. Make a camp spot for us. Just let us live.